you vibing right now? Um, I don't know, because I'm feeling tension again. You have a different tension, right? Yeah. You are right. Yeah. Hey, Malia, what's your location? Bridge deck aft. Can you come to the starboard side of the main deck? Copy. On my way. Tell me why you're limping. I fell. And? Um, injured myself. Let me my see leg. your injury. It's a major injury. Bruise. How did you do that? I fell off the side of the hot tub the other night. Why wasn't it reported to me? You! I'm really disappointed in. 1,000%. It's a f***ing incident. And you will not be getting in that harness going on the side of the boat. Go make the report now. I'm really disappointed, Malia. This is something you do not keep from the captain at all. Understood. It was a gift. It was what? He fell, he injured himself, and I had no idea. Why didn't you report to me that he's injured? Because it was a bruise. You know what? You can minimize this all you want. I asked him if he needed to see a doctor, and he said no. I don't want him in that harness. Find someone else. <clears throat> what now? Um, so, yesterday was such a Sure. The thing is, like, it was sort of Matt and Lexi. I mean, they already have this. They don't really like each other. They went at it. Where? At, they started at lunch at the fall, so after we'd walked around, we had lunch. Who started it? I don't actually know who started it. I know Matt, he's not a victim in this. That's why I hate you. They're both bad, and they both feel the fire. Mm -hmm. um, Lexi obviously takes the comments and the things she says to a whole new level. And then at dinner, it kicked off like properly. She pretty much told him he should have been aborted. She called him the R word. Oh, in hell, bro. This is ridiculous. I don't really know like who started it completely, but I know it was both sides. It wasn't well, just- Well, did you hear anything that Matthew said or only what Lexi said? Yeah, no, he said stuff as well. He just says, no one likes you and stuff like that. And she did say some I... to Courtney as well, because Courtney kind of stood up and was like, so sick of this. Like, you were both in the wrong. Like, you both should have been fired, but you're both still here. And then Lexi kind of called Courtney lazy and she did her job. And I was like, that's definitely not the case. And I've come to you neutral, just so you're aware, because it is an ongoing problem, obviously, and, you know, people are saying they can't work with her or vice versa. Here's what I want to do. I want to get Matthew, Lexi, and you in the main salon. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a talk. Yeah. Even though the crew are out for dinner, they still represent the vessel. So their behavior has to emulate what you would be on board. Matthew, Lexi, and Katie, we're all meeting in the bridge salon. Copy. Copy. I must maintain that within the crew. Sometimes it doesn't happen, and that's when I have to fire people. <clears throat> no, sit there. Good night, guys. Good night, sweet dreams. You all good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm just I like... just, I have nothing to say about not, but it's not yeah, just no, that everything, you know. Yeah. I just, I don't think there's a point in me even trying right now because I think the damage is done. Home sweet home. Hello? Yeah. Hey. No, I told you that the chef was like, he says a lots of f up things and it's okay. No. I would make him cry. No. Like, and I know it. I could see it in his eyes, his personality. He's a weak person. Mom, stop saying preacher's kid. That doesn't mean anything anymore. Dad died, so it's like, do you know me my whole life? Do you know me to let someone just be mean to me and I don't say nothing? Come on, you know me. They're like, oh, you should be fired. I was like, if anyone needs to be fired, we all need to be fired for every single word. Everyone should be fired at this point for insubordination. Everyone.